enjoying your breakfast? I don't know if I like Pop-Tarts. Did you fall on your head while you were sleeping? I don't know. Do I like this? Is this something I like? So you fell on your head and now you have some kind of very specific amnesia, is that it? I mean, last night I was dreading mom and dad's reaction to the breakup, right? Right, dread, dread, I remember. Then they didn't react, not one bit. And it's almost like the absence of their reaction was worse than any freak out they could have had. Okay, sure. And then I thought, why? Why do I care if they freak out? I mean, what do I get out of it? Uh-huh. And then I thought maybe their freak outs are like some kind of compass for me, you know? Like I know I'm doing what I want to do if it freaks them out. And then I thought, what if I don't want to do what I want to do because I want to do it, but because they don't want me to? Huh? I mean, what if I don't like what I like because I like it, but because my mother doesn't like it and doesn't want me to like it? What if I don't actually like the music that I like or the movies or the clothes or the men? What if I don't like what I seem to like? Ah, uh, hence the Pop-Tart. Yes, hence. I can remember the first time I had a Pop-Tart. It was at my friend Erica Catch's house, and she said, do you want a Pop-Tart? And I knew my mother would recoil. The very idea of me having a Pop-Tart, I could just picture her, <gasps> a Pop-Tart. And so I had one. And I opened the little silver wrapper, and I took a bite, and I thought nothing had ever tasted so good. I thought it tasted like freedom. It tasted like I was my own person. The Pop-Tart tasted like freedom and rebellion and independence. Wow, that's some Pop-Tart. What flavor was that? But now I think, I don't know if I like Pop-Tarts. What if I don't like Pop-Tarts? Would I like Pop-Tarts if Richard and Emily had served me Pop-Tarts on a silver platter and demanded I eat every bite? I don't know. Hey, uh, where are all the Pop-Tarts? I've been experimenting. You ate all the Pop-Tarts? Makes you feel any better. I don't know if I like them. Well, I hope you didn't eat all the Fruit Loops. Hey, how was last night's conversation? Eh. Eh, eh. It's just these transatlantic phone calls. I don't know if it's the trans or the Atlantic or the fact that it's two o'clock in the morning, but Helen Keller and Stephen Hawking could have a more connected conversation. Helen Keller's dead. Yeah, well, even dead, she could do better. It's just so awkward and pausy, and I feel like the more I try to connect, the more disconnected I feel. And I just feel like I'm working so hard, but maybe I shouldn't be having to work so hard. And then I feel self-conscious, but I shouldn't feel self-conscious, so then I feel self-conscious about that. I don't know, maybe it's just the salt in the ocean. It corrodes conversations or something. Yeah, it sounds like the salt. Mm. Hey! I like Pop-Tarts. 